good morning and welcome back to my channel so today i wanted to talk about how you taking care of yourself affects or benefits other people and i got this idea for this video because i was just thinking about my mom i was thinking about a lot of people but it started with thinking about my mom you know i was in my prayer time just praying for everybody around me and I had so much peace in my heart because my mom is the biggest reason behind why I can come on here today. You know what I mean? I'm so inspired by her. Um, she's rooted in the word. She's rooted in her faith. Uh, she's not religious. She has her, her own, you know, genuine relationship with God. And she's not swayed by, you know, the things we say, the things that we see in the media and in the government. And to always see her at peace, even with all the chaos going on in the world, I feel like that's something that she passed down to me. And I appreciate it so much. And I say that to say this, with her taking care of her spirit, you know, she's really big into health and, you know, putting the right vitamins and the right foods in her body, which is what I've been doing and, and who I've been learning from. When I'm in my prayer time, I just have so much peace because I feel like she's one less person that I have to worry about because I know that she takes every every area of her life seriously and I don't have to worry, you know? And that began to convict me because it just showed me how important it is for me to take care of myself because I don't want my actions or what I do to negatively affect other people or for other people to have to worry about, you know, my well-being or, you know, if I'm okay or, or worry about, you know, whatever I'm going through. And so I say all that to say, you know, a lot of times when we don't feel like doing things, it's good that we do do them because it doesn't just affect us. It actually affects other people around us. Everything that God has called you to do, everything that god has placed in your heart it's really for not only yourself and for the kingdom but to be a blessing to other people you know you know what i mean when you're taking care of your mental health when you're taking care of your spirit and getting in your word that helps other people around you because now you're in a good place you're feeling good you're at peace you know you're doing your healing work and you can be a light to those around you like, for example, have you ever went to work and you just, it's always that one person there that's like grumpy every single day. Grumpy every single day. And it kind of affects you. It makes your environment, it makes the environment just where you don't want to be there. You know what I mean? It, it kind of can begin to bring down your day if you allow it to. And that's what I mean by if you write within you, then, you know, it's a little bit easier to not let everybody control your emotions and how you feel spiritually but it still does have an effect on you because you just looking and meditating on why is this person mad every day what is there to be that mad about and why are you bringing it to work why are you not doing that doing the work or trying to heal yourself or fix that situation outside of work and bringing a positive energy in into the workplace you know what i mean or people that like just in the workplace gossip all the time or in all or in your business all the time that has a negative effect on you because it's like why are you so consumed with my life when you should be worried about your own life you know and again that's for people where they're miserable inside they don't have nothing going for themselves so they want to watch everybody else's life and that affects you that that's going to affect you because now they're they're using your life as their entertainment so again it's important that we take care of every area of our life so that we're not a burden to people around us. Now, of course, there's going to be times you need help. You know, obviously, we have emotions and we should be able to rely on the people around us and lean on them and, and seek, you know, wise counsel. So that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is if you're perpetually in a state where you can become a burden or just a negative you know spirit to those around you you got to work on that you know and i just feel i had seen something the other day you know where the parent was just their child was out of control 
you know, but they were grown. So it's like, what can you do? My child is grown. I can only give, you know, direct them to the best of my ability. But at the end of the day, they have the decisions to make, you know, they have the option to make whatever decision they want to in life. And I just, my heart ached because I'm like, I can just imagine I'm pouring so much into my son. I've done all this hard work. And then for him to grow up and just completely cut up, act a fool, just go down this crazy path. I can only imagine how I would feel. And it's his life, but his life, I feel like he's still an extension of me, still a piece of me. So that's going to affect me, you know, and that just opened my eyes from a mother perspective, from a child perspective, you know, just from every perspective, you know, just like, I just want to make sure that everybody that I encounter to the best of my ability, that I can be a light and that I could be positive. I'm human. So I might be down or not feeling well or whatever, but for the most part, I want majority of the time for me to be a light to people around me and you know I want them to feel at peace I want them to see God in me I want them by being around me that they feel close to God like I want people peaceful in my presence I don't want chaos you know I don't want people to feel like they're in turmoil or chaos when they come around me you know what I mean and that's important for me and I want to take care of you know my health and me spiritually and my finances you know what I mean I don't want to be a burden and come into something and I'm being a burden to somebody else. You know what I mean? So I take my finances and my credit score. I take all those things seriously because I know at the end of the day, especially if I get into a relationship, I don't want to be a burden to somebody else. I want to come in whole. I want to come in with my stuff together. And I don't want people around me to have to be worried. You know what I mean? And yeah, like I said, I just, I got this uh, revelation because I was thinking about my, you know thinking about a lot of people but specifically my mom and I'm just so grateful I'm just so grateful because I feel not I feel I know I know that she is the reason that I am the woman that I am today and I aspire to have those qualities and I'm I'm so glad that I have a mother that's rooted in Christ that's so that's so important to me you know what I mean and I'm seeing her live it out and I'm seeing her have a, a true heart, you know, and for her to have instilled that in me, I'm so grateful because it's changed my it's changed my life, you know, and I've gotten to encounter God for myself, not just through her telling me, but living by the principles that she instilled in me and seeing them uh, bring th bring so much breakthrough. And I just think like, how would my life be if my if my mother like didn't instill those principles and not only instill those principles, but be that example, because a lot of people might have grown up in, in families that were religious, but then you see them cutting up, you know, they, they play church but when they get out of church, they a whole nother person. And my mom is just consistent and she's so chill. She's so laid back and she's not lazy like to this day she works you know she'll work multiple jobs and still do her passions of gardening and hobbies on the side and stuff and I just admire that so much and that motivates me to just never stop doing the things that God has placed in my heart and to also make sure that I'm always striving to position myself so that I can be a blessing to other people whether that be just with my presence or financially or just breaking some of those uh, family, you know, generational curses, if you will, we can use that word, uh, generational curses. Like I want to, I want to do things the right way because that's just, <laughs> that's just where I'm at with it. So again, yeah, remember that everything you do, every decision you make, the things you know you should be doing and you don't do, always remember that those decisions don't just affect you they affect everybody that you encounter everyone around you okay so yeah i hope this was an eye opener i hope this gave you something to think about and i hope that this motivates you to um get done the things that you need to get done and work on your healing make sure you're being healed make sure you're you're spending that time with god so that he can you know Form you into the image of Christ and then you'll start bearing those qualities naturally you'll start bearing the fruit of the spirit naturally practice gentle gentleness practice humility practice kindness practice patience 
you know what I mean? And you'll just see everything shift. The people around you will shift. Uh, your circumstances will shift. So yeah, that's just something to think about today. And yeah, I'm gonna end it there and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.